The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman sitting here for Steve Rose, not mastering probability. My show is the Tiger Technicians Hour, which I do every every market day, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. My service is the opening call daily newsletter. And of course, we also do webinars. Did a webinar a couple of weeks ago, which absolutely is pertinent to everything we do seeing today. These particular chart patterns, there's this dreaded H that we're looking at in Apple. What is the dreaded H? It's this pattern here where you come down in a straight line, then you have a rally and fail at a peak A or a B, the second or first or second peak. And how you take out or hold the left side low is imperative. In this case, 171.96. There's also a beautiful up channel. We're out of that up channel. I've been drawing channels since uh, 19, late 1970s when I used to hand chart. Uh, with a ruler and pencil and graph paper, engineering paper. Uh, in fact, I got one right there. I got a, made a, a big photocopy because it was. A, I had to glue these pages together from the 90. When I went back to the Dow charts from the closing prices back in 1930, I think it was 1920, uh, and I had these graph paper um, as we were getting to the 1970s and then early 80s. Uh, I had to glue these pages. So I've got pages that are like, uh, you know, four feet high or more. Um, so uh, anyway, with that said, what we're looking at is straight line down, then it makes an arch formation, and Apple. So Apple in the weekly chart, you see in the daily, there's a green nine period moving average that has not, it's gone underneath the, the it's gone underneath the 50 period, but it hasn't broken the 14. When it does, it'll turn pink. And that'll say, whoops, now you've got to be careful because you, there's a chance you're going to test the 171 level. Yeah, you are at one, uh, 178.79, having a, a low yesterday all the way down the 174 area. And today, uh, 180.24 was the high. And then it got repelled by that high. So this is what I'm looking at. I'll draw it in. In the, in the Apple chart, I'm drawing in the potential. It's just the potential for this pattern to be repeated. Why? Straight line up, and then it comes down, and it tries to make the H pattern, peak A or B. If it fails at that particular level, be careful. So this is a leg A to the upside. This week, uh, because it made a fractionally new high, I must just double check that, <clears throat> uh, 189.92, 189 point is that an 88 why am i having trouble seeing these things because it's, it's on the dark side of 98 so 92 98 no it made a higher high so there's still a gray leg a to the upside right over here um and that could fail uh, make it gray easy enough gray there you are gray and basically, look, the MACD is weak, the stochastics weak, the unbalanced volume, the blue line is making lower highs and lower lows, so far a lower low. But the nine period moving average, and let me go to my 914 chart right here to show you what we're looking at. So this is Apple. This is, let's go to a weekly, click, and call this Apple, A-A-P-L. Look, price is deeply underneath the 14 period moving average, but the nine is way above the 14. So it's a process. Look how long it took before Apple went pink back in uh, going into the October trading of last year. <clears throat> so it's a process. And that just says to me, from the way we're looking at this particular chart, yes, it can hold green and even see a flip to the upside. But the pattern that we're looking at is very similar to other patterns where you made low lows and lower highs. I'm watching this closely on Apple. So Apple says to me, it's having a tough time right now. It's gapped. It's trying to fill the gap. But at the same time, that weekly chart says, I've had a spectacular run to the upside. I mean, if I do just a fib 
right here. Got a lot of people looking at fib, so I'll just do the fib right here. Fibby, fibby, right there. I'll just go to that high it was made at 198, come down to the low of 124.17 back in uh, February of 2023 this year. That's a spectacular move. 124 to 198. In Apple, one of the largest companies, and it's like it's like a number of countries put together, and it rallies and it bounces to the the resistance of the upper trend line. It says just be a little careful here with Apple as a long term holder and buy and holder. I'm just saying to you, I wouldn't touch it if you shorter term oriented um, and you haven't taken a little bit of money off after a great run. Money management just says take a little bit off. I mean, that's you've got to be judicious in this market. You've got to wait while you've got it. You got to you got to do some money management. So I take a little bit off, and you can plan to put it back, whether it's the low or not. It doesn't matter. Plan to put it back somewhere in the uh, look. One seventy is the two hundred period moving average in the daily chart. Maybe put half of that back, you know, or whatever it is. But I'm just saying that money management says so. And the, the monthly chart has had two months of digestive phases. Uh, this is a Chapman Wave Roman candle, almost at an all-time high, the bar after it. And this is the month. So the month says we've closed halfway or lower than the <clears> – <throat> well, the month's not finished, but at least it's for a week. And that just says be careful because 183 – Anytime it's holding under 183 in this particular pattern right here, it says there's just a really good chance that you're going to test that low. And if you test that low and you take it and close under it, you're in for probably a little bit more of a digestive moment. So that's Apple. Next thing, I'm, what is the upside? At this particular point, the upside says there's a lot of resistance levels between 182 and 185. If there is a close next week, any day that it closes over 186.70, I'd be very impressed. Then I'm saying, look at this as an H to an M pattern. What is that? That's the lowercase h that has holds the left side low and then has another arch formation, not over the left side high, not under the left side low until it's completed the rollover. That rollover is what you've got to be careful of. Lowercase h goes to a lowercase m. All right. Where, where, what does that mean? We saw that perfectly in the stock called Square or Block. It did exactly that. Lowercase h goes to a lowercase m. There's another one that I was getting. Oh, the other one was a n. Look at this. Lowercase h goes to a lowercase m, and it repeats another one. And it just says Automation, Auto Nation Inc. Auto Sales. Um, if it takes out this left side load at any point. Be careful, it could go a lot deeper, and that would be around about, if it's under 100 and 149. If it closes under 148, there's a big problem. All right, now the next thing I want to look at. So a couple of questions came in. So Amazon, I'll do that right now. Amazon right now. Amazon is holding very nicely. So there's a technique that I call the chat wave falling X. And what does it do? You're looking at lower, it goes to a, a spike high, goes up, it's like a flagpole, then it starts to make lower highs and much lower lows. And all of a sudden, what does it do? Out of the blue, it starts to make, there it is, it makes a cup formation. We'll talk about that when I return. Good action so far on Amazon. And I'll talk about Target as well when we get back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors C C call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 all right, folks, we're back. Basil Chapman sitting in for Steve Rhodes. Oh, look at this. So you remember what I said about that one-minute chart? So first of all, there's this pattern, the dreaded H pattern that we were talking about before, that red that red uh, move down, and then it uh, tries to rally and fails at a peak A. Does it hold the left side low? Well, in this case, it did. So that means that the H pattern can suddenly turn into a cup formation trying to take out the left side high. That's exactly why the one-minute chart is done this reversal I could have done a left side right side price time match I just I, I don't if you, I like to do things in real time doing this now means that I cannot miss right <laughs> yeah when you go back 2020 are you gonna are you gonna make a mistake no way you already know the answer so you, you actually have to search for the question so there's your left side right side price time match holding very nicely what did I say before I said that that one minute chart is like the daily chart that we're looking at all of these charts where the daily is really weak in a sell mode. But wait a minute, the weekly, meaning the five minute chart, that nine, it looked like the price was falling. It made a beautiful pyramid pattern to the left side support of 444.64. Well, wait a minute, look what happened. That nine period, that green line deflected up. That's why you don't want to over anticipate. What am I trading? The, the short time, short term trade and what does it say it says stay with that keeping in mind the larger trends well the larger trend says we've got a weekly or a five minute chart holding beautifully so it says you've got to think of short-term trades if you're going against the grain i hope i can find that chart again to show you uh, trading the tra trading the trend so look at this what happens <clears throat> that's the five minute chart look at the 10 minute chart it didn't even move. It barely moved. It's still the nine is still over the 14. That means if you're going to short right now, the E-mini, you have to do it on a very short term basis because you're going against the trend. I'll try to find that chart. I love that chart. I'll find it in my from my CD book, Introducing the Chapman Wave Methodology. Uh, kind of out of print right now, but uh, I'll figure out what to do with it one of these days. So, um, so oh, yeah, yeah, but Fletch, Apple going to 149 of the monthly chart. Um that's different altogether to to a Disney. It's just it's two separate things. Look look at Disney. So Disney has been having a rally today. Um, there's a trend line that I've got in the monthly chart. Um, what I am looking at here is that this chart. Look at that monthly. It is so different to Apple. 
at this particular point. So one, it's 175, even 149. It's just a sideways consolidation. So I'm saying they're different chart patterns. We were just joking around there. Okay, I had a, had a little ping, and let me just see what the ping is. And the ping is Stephen Nasher. Steve, how are you? Basil, how are you doing? Can you hear me okay? I certainly can hear you beautifully. Well, you're only just a couple good, of good. miles away. You know, you know, I got a brand new phone about a week ago. I love it. Oh, good. And, what and kind of phone? T-Mobile and uh, Samsung A14. That's the way to go. I got a Samsung. Free, <laughs> oh, really? That's great. And oh, actually, yeah. mine was also free, but unfortunately, they gave me the large. I, I really didn't want a large one. I just took it because they were throwing in as free. Yeah. But uh, And you got yeah, a T-Mobile. Do you like T-Mobile? Yeah, I had uh, the other big carrier at the end of the alphabet, and they weren't good uh, reception in my area. <laughs> oh, okay, because I've been with the same company forever. Um, and sure, yeah. I have to tell you, yeah, I, I, you know, the, the carrying part of it is fine. My daughter keeps telling me, why, why didn't you go with the one we have, which is like 35 bucks a month or something? I said, no, i got to have reliability. Well, you know, sometimes it's not quite so reliable. But anyway, what you wanted yep. to look at? Uh, you know, I've been I've been uh, trading AMD pretty much exclusively the last month and a half to, to fantastic success. You know, just day trade. Excellent. Get you, yes. Get you in the morning, you know, it goes up to 250, three bucks within an yes. hour, that kind of thing. But I started looking at uh, MRVL, Marvel. Marvel, yes. It's literally one half the price of AMD. And Granted, it has pretty much a, the same pattern. Not, uh, has the cash rate as AMD, but uh, right. you can still your, buy a lot your, of it and make the your money. Wallet, it. Your wallet doesn't care about the cachet, right? It, it yeah, loves exactly, the cash. Yeah. Not the cachet, but the cash. Right. Right, right, right. <laughs> So, do, uh, can you see my chart right now? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually looking uh, on a, a little uh, Kindle uh, Fire, Amazon Fire, rather. Um, All right. So then, if you, you, you. you'll probably you'll be able to see pretty well that the monthly chart went to a peak D at ninety three point eighty five. Folks, this is Marvell Technology in the semiconductor area. Really great company, um, data center. Communications uh, symbol is MRVL, straining at 56.28, down 30 cents. So this is pattern that I call the dreaded H. It did this perfectly in the weekly chart, which I have as a peak B, but it's certainly underneath all the previous highs. So this is one that could fail as it stands right now. So it's so interesting. If you look at the daily chart, here's an exact example. Sell mode. Lower lows, lower highs, just over and over and over again. Gaps down, tries to rally, yeah. now it's come back into that gap area. But look at the weekly chart. That was a spectacular move. I think it was on earnings and a bunch of things back the week of the 26th of May. <clears throat> I had yeah. no choice because it took out the left side low. I had to start a new peak A, and I call this a peak B. But when the stochastic fails to hold 80% and then starts to slide below it, that's where you get these failure patterns. So the nine point right. moving average right now, I'm going to go to this. I'll go to my my chart that just has the moving averages. We're talking about it on a weekly basis, MRVL. And you're going to see something very interesting here. The nine is starting to drop, drop, drop. It's still above the 14, but for the first time, the 14, if I had to put a, 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 a measure here, if it was if I was building a wall or something and I needed to get the exact um, horizontal move, that nine p that fourteen p moving average is starting to decline, and that's telling me that the nine and fourteen are now the trajectory is down, but it's still holding well enough not to cross negative. So that's number one. Yes. So it says you got to use your shorter time frame to get that on just this one indicator. So let me just flip this to the daily. You'll see that that nine period moving average, even with the big spike uh, back in mid-August, it deflected that nine period moving average is just pink. It, it's not turning, it hasn't used any opportunity to go green. So that just says to me, the trend in the short term, that's the daily, is down the weekly is still holding well, but the price is telling me that they're lower lows and lower highs. Now, all of this is absolutely irrelevant if you say you are day trading, because if you are day trading, then I've got to look at something like MRVL, and I'll go to the charts, and you can see 
right here in the one, one minute chart it's gone peak a peak b peak c we're in leg d and green nine period moving average in the five five minute chart is still pink so this is almost the exact opposite of what we were looking at in the daily and weekly but the five minute chart says it might be rallying but I, it's going to take a lot for me to turn green in the five minute chart sure. and the 10 minute yeah, chart I, is the same thing right. so i wonder if that's I, a big up it made in mid august there uh, if it did if it could do a 50 percent retrace if it didn't already i, I don't i can't tell i don't have fifth so, on this machine here but all right let me I take the break it down to the and, 40s and we'll look at it what i want to do i don't know if you ever use the 200 period look at this five minute chart look at the repellent of that 200 period moving out that's a great technique just to add i'll be back with steve in a moment basil chapman sitting in for steve rhodes hour i'll be right back the gold report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. We're on with Steve Nash. So, so I wanted to show you, I don't know if you ever use this, Steve. Do you ever put the 200 period exponential moving average on your chart? Uh, Steve is he's there. Whoops, maybe uh, Steve uh, left the station. Uh, on the Steve, if you're still there, just give me a yell. But what I wanted to show you is this: Look, Marvell on the five minute chart, it gapped down at the on the seventh. That is, uh, that's not today. Look what happened. It goes peak A, peak B, peak C. 
your objective always is to go from a buy signal to a buy mode to at least a D. That's your objective in the buy signal to buy mode upgrade in any in the Chapman wave techniques. It goes D and then it goes to an E. Where does it stall? Right on the 200 period moving average. It cannot break it. It makes this rectangle, long, narrow rectangle. It's a technique I teach. If, you, if you're a subscriber, you know you can go to one of my webinars. I talk about the long, narrow rectangle formation that when it breaks, it very breaks to the downside. And then it just revisits the rectangle for a moment. And then you've got to watch out because if it takes out that left side low, it goes even lower. Well, it just did that. So, Steve, you are trading on the uh, very short term. You said intraday and you're using advanced micro devices. But um, don't mix apples and oranges. Oops, we were talking about apples just now. But don't mix apples and oranges. Why? Because if you're trading on the very short term, could you care? I mean, on a five-minute chart or a one-minute chart or a ten-minute chart, you couldn't care about the weekly. Yes, the daily maybe, but not the weekly because you're in and you're out. So keep in mind what you're trading is – you want to stick with those parameters. In this case, look at that beautiful, goes to the five-minute peak D at the 200 period moving average, gets repelled. We had Garrow calling in my show, the Tag Technicians Hour, just a little an hour ago. He was looking at rig. He had bought rig. He did a great trade on square on the downside, but he had bought rig on the long side. And I said, uh, at that point, I think it's stalling, but what you need to see is a move to the $8 and um, <clears throat> 28 to eight dollars and 31 cents and it has to be fairly quickly um wow it just did that it went to 832 look same thing where did the stall when garrow was talking to me i should have done that immediately because he was talking about an intraday trade but we were looking at the bigger picture look at this peak a peak b Remember, none of this fixed. I had no idea that I'd even be talking about this right now. See, there's your D at the 200 period moving average. There's your E, a fractionally higher. It goes into the rectangle formation, takes out the low. The other thing I always like to do is look at this. You've got your cup formation right here. This is that inverse. This is the reverse of the technique we were looking at before. This is the reverse of this. This is the positive Y, the reverse green Y, instead of the dreaded H, the Y could be really positive if it takes out that left side high and holds it for two out of three bars. Well, what did this do? It went, I like to do the vertical match, look at this, right here, there, to there. Look how weak the technicals are. Yet that nine period moving average was still holding well. But it pulled back, went back to green, and then it took it out. Look how sharply it declined. Now you've got a brand new rally in rig. This is uh, Transocean uh, Oil, I think it's oil and gas, A, B. We're only looking for each peak. If it, it, It's a floating letter until it makes a peak. So that's a C. When it takes it out by one penny, it becomes the new leg. This is a leg until it changes. D. So this could be considered an alt one, two, three. This is not a chapter wave instant restart. This is a, using the 200 period moving average as resistance and then all of a sudden it becomes a propellant. So what I normally would do is the green says just keep the letters going. E, F. When you get to a G after this, it's going to be a G stash C. Watch if it makes a little doji candle because that's always a clue. And what do we have? We have a little doji candle we're pulling back. So I thought I'd do something live. I mean, uh, good. Next question I came in is, uh, where did it go? Did that, did that, did that, uh, did that, did that. What was it? I, I missed it. Um, oh, AU. Mark from Down East. So Mark, AU, gold stock, uh, no, silver. AU should be silver, right? Yeah, Anglo Gold is Shanti. I guess they also have silver. It's, it's AU is the symbol, but gold is GC. So we're looking at, um, there's your dreaded H. There's your peak A. There's your B. Pink nine period moving average daily. Pink nine period moving average. This is Anglo Gold is Shanti. Uh, Anglo Gold. Is that South African co company? I should know that. I'm originally from South Africa. I used to play at the uh, mines in the little mining town that I lived in as a teenager. Gave it the most fantastic, beautiful city, uh, Cape Town, full of mining town. 
but you move with the family. So look at that. There should be something's not right here. That, that doesn't look like it's a peak C. Yeah, so the question is, let me just 23, 85, 23 is less, it's 23, 70. So the, the, I, I've over the years done this occasionally. I make a phantom peak and it's not at a high. And I call this because everything about it looked like it should have gone to a C and it didn't do that. So in my mind, I'm thinking, I could call this a phantom C, but I'm going to put in the C here that failed. So it goes to a peak C, and then it takes forever. All of these have to be counted. But what I'm looking at is, um, Angry Girl Shanti A is a symbol, trading is 1684, up 36 cents today. Uh, this is a lot of work is going to have to be done if I was to consider that this is going to be um, – going into a new buy signal to buy mode. And I'll explain what I'm looking at here. Um, if I had to do a left side, right side price time match, just looking at this, even if I was here, I would say, you know, that is just too quick. It goes straight up and straight down. I probably want to look at a particular candle and use that as my midpoint. The plumb line should be number of bars up equals the number of bars down. But sometimes the pattern says, gee, I think it's going to take even longer. So I would go to the low. Usually I'd make the trough after the high was made, and I'd say that will be the uh, level that I'm looking at. So now I just type in, and I match it up, and I say, okay, that should be there. Make that green because this is the way up. This is my plumb line. It's not the center. It should be, but it's not. This is a Chapman Wave um, inside wedge target uh, support line. And I usually take this to the low. I don't want to do that just yet. I want to show you what I do. So now look at this. This is my measurement. And what does it do? It goes right down to exactly. There it is. So it kind of held support, held support, broke support broke support, and now it's retesting. So it's done the arch formation, or an, it's like a pyramid maybe, all right? And it goes to there, and it actually was a day a day later. No, it wasn't. It was exactly on time. This is a weekly chart. So that says in the weekly chart, it's accomplished a chunk of things, but it still hasn't completed the, the, the trajectory to the downside, just visually. It's done it on price kind of nicely, now we'll look at the technicals. So I'll be back. We'll look at AU, AU and DRD is the question. What's the DRD? So that is this uh, something other than that? Yeah, I'll be right back. Basil Chapman sitting in for Steve Rose Hour. Dow's up on You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today.
tfnn.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks, we're back. Thanks for traveling. See you for Steve Rose Hour. So, DRD is a gold limited ADS. So, I want you to see the two together because this one also did a beautiful A, big A, <clears throat> bounce, but then it went to a B and then it went to a C. And now it's pulling back sharply. But it's holding the 200 period moving average. This is DRD Gold Limited ADS. So it's an overseas company. I don't know if it's also South African. So AU, not as good a chart pattern. And I did correct that. You've always, the idea in the Chapman Wave methodology is to identify the lowest, most obvious low bar. I had to go back to 2015. And that was the low. So it goes peak A, B, it takes a long time. But from that low, you count each successively higher peak. So that's a new A, B, that's a C, that's a D. Then it goes to an E just in July, I think it was, of 2020. And then I put a down arrow because it's sort of a very sharp pullback. And the green nine period moving average in the month is still there, but it's getting real close to changing to pink. It hasn't done it yet. So I'm just going to say to you, if if I don't know if you're long or short uh, AU, I'd I'd look at this and say, you've used every opportunity to to rally, but you haven't done anything very much. And even the gap, you're starting to fill in the gap from the other day where the low is in the 15s. So if this is a long term position, I need to see how over the next week, if this low of 15 point is that 78 or something? I'm just guessing. Let me just get to it. 15.96, 15.96. If that is taken out on a closing basis just one day, um, that's just going to suggest that there's still weakness. For this to strengthen, and I, I'm looking at the dollar. I'll, let me just do this now because if the dollar starts to change direction, you're going to see a very nice bounce in the else. Look, the euro broke the uptrend, the inside track, Support level, now it's a resistance level. We saw the same thing with Apple. Not quite as dramatic, but it has pulled back. But um, it's kind of holding in the 200 period moving average is is at 1.08. It's trying to, it's, it wants to try to test that. If you look at the USD JPY, and the reason I'm going here is you need to be looking at the currencies because that's going to tell you a lot. Look, leg D is about to come in the... Um, in the yen, dollar yen, Japanese yen uh, currency pair, the daily, look, the nine is still way over the 14, no hint yet of turning down in the daily. Weekly, very strong. Monthly, very strong. And this pattern usually says that the price should visit with just under, right on, or just above the previous high of the flagpole. And then you've got to be careful. So I don't see anything yet that says to me, uh oh, yeah, a little breather for the dollar. But so far, I, I don't see it unless there's something dramatic that happens. So now I'm going to say to you, I'm putting it together with AU. And as far as I'm concerned, if you are long, I would have a stop. 1684, a close below 1560 says at least some of the position, I'd have a stop round about that level. I'd even have a stop at 1580, which is six cents lower than it was just two weeks ago. So that's to make sure. But if you're looking to buy, I would rather be buying 
higher highs and higher lows. So let it complete this digestive phase. And if it's going to work, I can tell you this, that if it closes above 1780, especially at 1803, it's going to very quickly visit this left side high of the 10th of August, and that is at 1868. And then you can go step by step because, look, the MACD is doing nicely. The price hasn't really followed the MACD all that well. Stochastic's okay at 37%. On balance volume is, is okay. This is all the daily. The weekly technicals are still very poor. So I think you've got time. I don't think you need to say, oh, my God, and if, even if it gaps up, let's say, on Monday because the dollar pulls back and it goes to uh, 1710. I say that's okay. It's still that's that square pattern where it goes from the H to the dreaded H successfully to a lowercase m in a rectangle formation. So I don't see a rush. DR was a DRD. I hope so. DRD, a little different. Look how severely it's pulled back, but look how it's hugging the 200 period, period moving average. This is, and if you look at the weekly, this is a pattern that I often look at and I say, hmm, could break out to the upside for a brief moment. In this pattern, I call it. That's this narrow, it's like a Chapman falling axe formation, except it's a channel because it's parallel lines. But look at the resistance levels. So it's trading at 9.76 DRD, it's up 14 cents. I think you've got time here as well. So I, I, took, I took a bit of time because I wanted to do this for myself because we did have uh, a, a silver stock recently and I got out of it a uh, fairly tight stop. I said, no, I'm, I don't like it. I, I gave it every opportunity, and it wasn't acting well. We're done. And now we'll have to wait for higher highs and higher lows. In this case, I don't want to wait for a higher high because it's all the way up in the 1080. It's a point away from where it is. What I will say is if that nine-period moving average crosses positive by Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday morning of next week, then you've got yourself a trading, a better trading stock than the, other, the AU, although – Price-wise, because the one's lower than the other, percentage might be a little bit better gain. But that's the way I'm looking at it. So gold and silver are, are hostage, at least to the dollar right now, but at the dollar and the euro and the, and the Japanese yen, so far looking pretty good. And the uh, the euro is not looking that great. So I hope I helped you there. Um, yeah. So question came in here. A couple of questions. I, I emailed. Let me just see quickly. I won't be able to read them. I'll just be able to see what they say. Oh, yeah. CRM. CRM is salesforce.com. <clears throat> that was very good action. That, the, that good action was a big bounce held the huge gap. It held most of it. It went the next day below. This is CRM is a symbol, 224.17, up sixty-four, And then got back. It wanted to get back into this pattern here. So now I can draw a cup formation and say uh, yesterday and the day before there were nice green candles when the market was kind of choppy. It had a 228.29 uh, high on the um, beginning of September. It opened to 228 round number. So 228 is the number to monitor. If it closes, it doesn't have to, it, it doesn't, it needs to get there and close. If it touches it and pulls back, that's not good. But if it closes above 228, the round number high that was made on the right there, on the 31st of August, any time next week, I'd say that's going to improve the weekly because look, the nine period moving average never went negative. It's still positive. So yes, I like it. It's in that category of stocks that I've been listing that have held and done very well. It was doing horribly. But it's got an island gap. Look at this island gap from all there, this whole thing. Mm, I'll, I'll put it in now, but I'm going to take it away. This is all an island gap. Right there. So that high, the gap down high of the 3rd of uh, August was 218.21. And this high right here was 215.59. So look at that. That's nice. It, I, actually, I, I don't like to do that because it has too many other implications. So I'll put this in right. But there it is. So that's certainly what you monitor. And if any day next week there is close below 217, that's eight points from where we are right now, that's going to be a problem. But so far, it's holding very well. I'll be back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. that beat D, other things can happen at D. Well, the one-minute chart went to a D, now it's making this arch formation with the inside wedge target support line. I had some people say, could you do this again? Well, I did this in my show, so I'll do it on uh, Monday. I'll do this live. <coughs> Here's this M-shaped pattern with the, with the nine, still over the 14 in the five-minute chart. But look at this. Remember, with, we were looking at rig, and I said, uh oh, let's look for a tiny doji candle to see if there's a reversal. Well, there's your tiny little candle right there at G slash C. It's pulling back. Nine is still good in the uh, five, not in the one minute chart, but the five. So think of this as daily, weekly, monthly, so that you've got your time frames. And as I was saying to Steve, think of these as uh, if you're trading intraday, the weekly is not as important. But have the daily up, and that's the most important thing. So let me just sum up as we're about to wrap up. Great program for the rest of the day. We've got, um, as far as I'm concerned, the Dow is still in the sell mode in the daily chart. Weekly, we're watching very closely to see if that nine eventually comes. This is a big consolidation. I know Elliott Wave and all that. you got huge moves to the downside. It depends on the interpretation. I just don't see that. I see a rotation correction in the daily. We haven't yet impacted the weekly. It's just a slow process. We'll see if next week we make we go down below 34,000 in the Dow. Then that weekly is going to start to change. So far, all the weeklies are looking really good. It feels bad. It's using time more than price. So that's most important. Look at the SMHs. That bifurcation I showed you in the credit cards where American Express was way down. Uh, 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 Visa was way up. Look at this target. Target. 
way down. Look at Walmart. I mean, same retail, Walmart, up near highs, all-time highs as we speak. So bifurcated market, very much so. Just know the positions that you have, deal with them, maybe even forget about the market, what people say for the moment. Look at your holdings. If they're working, it works. Look, you've got someone who's been holding a rig for a long time. Look at that. The old time highs. Just steady as you go. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, stay tuned for, for great programming. Check out both for my daily newsletter. And I hope you can be here at 10 o'clock at 11 for the Tiger Technicians Hour Monday. Have a great week. Thank you.